this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how you can create custom text boxes in Adobe InDesign. So if I press T for my text tool and I click and drag, I'm making a text box, but of course it will be square. I'm just going to right click and fill it with some placeholder text. But if I then take my selection tool, as you can see here, you have these these points which you can edit and then what you can do is take your pen tool by pressing P and now you can drag or delete these points so click to delete now we have a square when you're on top of a simple line you can add an anchor point like this and then when you take your direct selection tool which is A and you select first click away and you select this anchor point, you can then manipulate it into a shape. Um, just make sure that the anchor point is blue. That means you're manipulating it um, like this. You can make whatever kind of shape you want to. What you can also do, let's move this aside, is take a ellipse tool, which is L as a shortcut, and then make an ellipse holding the shift key to have a perfect round ellipse like this and if we now press T for my type tool and I just click inside of my ellipse you can see here I have my cursor my type point and I can fill it with placeholder text and now I have a sort of custom made text frame so you can manipulate the standard text frame with your pen tool um, to add or distract anchor points. You can manipulate the standard text tool, text box with your direct selection tool, or you can just make a circle or even a polygon. Let's create a polygon like this. And then if you take your text tool and you click here, now you can fill it with placeholder text. You have another custom made text box. When you select this text box you can see here in the properties window which if it isn't visible you can go to window and then select properties but if you have this selected you can say that you want your paragraph to be aligned in the middle or even to the right so you can still change all these things align it to the middle and same with your custom made frame here so it's uh yeah it's as simple as that you can use a rectangle the standard text box and manipulate it with your direct selection tool and your pen tool and you can even have a circle just place text inside of it and you're good to go let me know in the comments below if you like this video be sure to press the thumbs up button if you did press that subscribe button to see more of my videos i have new ones going live every week and for now thank you for watching my video stay creative and i hope to see you in the next one